So hello everybody, how are you today? It is Monday, so it's time for another Power Query video and this time I'm going to do a follow-up of a video that I created previously. It is called List Dates Between Two Dates in Power Query and in this video I showed you how you can list the dates between two dates. And as you can see here, I had a start date and an end date and then I just filled the dates. And that is a very easy uh, case. And once you saw what this, you start to ask me, okay, so how do I list uh, dates that start on Monday only? Or how do I list monthly dates? Or how I, you know, there are so many variations of this that I really think it deserves a follow-up. So that is exactly what we are going to do today. We're going to follow up and I'm going to present you, obviously I won't be able, I will never be able to create all the cases available for it. But if you see the structure, you will be able to most likely create any scenario that comes up. So I have listed a few scenarios um, and then for you to, to explore. We will explore them together. This is actually a, a job that I did for a customer that was um, wanted to visualize SQL jobs. So you know that there is um, a monetary agent that shows you if the job failed and if it didn't and when is next scheduled and you know all that stuff so they wanted to see so they could schedule better and fix jobs that didn't work and this is data that you depending on how you configure you will get from the SQL job so here we have a list of job names and then we have the frequency it says monthly daily and weekly Monthly, in this case, is just one day, day five. Uh, here is every day, but this one is every day, every 29 minutes. The other one has a start time, and then it's every one hour. And then we have weekly, every Monday, or weekly, every Monday and Tuesday. So I, I picked uh, the ones that I had, and then I add a few, okay? So let's do this let's do this here's the thing the first thing we need to do is clean this a little bit because it is great there is an extra run time it will help us a lot uh, this time we don't need the time because it's, it's already in here what i do need though is the time uh, this one the 29 minutes in the one hour so i know how much time i should add on each and um uh, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to get this one. I'm going to split it by the limiter, which is this space, so I can grab the number. And then I don't need this. And I don't need this. This is one hour. I want to have it in minutes. So I'm going to replace that with 60. Now be careful, depending on what data you have, you might need to do the transformation some other way, okay? So now I have interval time. This is every 20 minutes, every 60 minutes in the next round time. Now I'm going to show you how to do this step by step because it gets too tough if we try to do everything actually in one go. So when I try, I'm tackling this type of uh, jobs, I do it step by step. Ready? Okay, the first thing we're going to do, let's pick, you know, monthly day five, we don't need to do anything. I, I, they asked me to create a visualization for the jobs in the next coming week. And the jobs that had already been run, there was a history table, so I could grab them for them. So I needed to generate future jobs for a week so they could plan and see if there were any conflicts and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So one week. If you need more, you add more days. It's as easy as that. Okay. Um, first, monthly, day five, don't need to do anything. This date works for me. The next one, daily, every day. So we need to generate for a week, every day from this date. And this is what we're going to start with because it is the easiest one, actually. So we do, if the frequency is daily, so it will just generate for daily. It's going to generate for these two, but we will take care of that later, don't worry. Else, no, if, it, if frequency is daily, then we need to list dates. And there is a function in Power Query called list, list dates. In this case, is date time. Date time. Why? Date 
date times, I think it is. There you have it. Because next round time is a date time. If you have a date column, you can use list date. But this is list, list date times. And then it says, it start with the time that you want to, date time that you want to start, then the number of days that you want, and then how, how much do you want it? In days, in hours, in, so it's super easy. So where do we want to start? We want to start with the next runtime. And then we want to have, we said, for a week. If you want a week, so for a week is seven days. If you want two weeks, 14 days, and you know, so on. And then the duration, it is one day at a time. Okay, so it's one day, zero hours, zero minutes, zero seconds. And we close that. And then we close that, that one, and then we do else blank. And I'm doing this again, so it's easy for you to see. And I do this all the time when I build this. I don't build <laughs> everything, you know, in one go. As you can see, it's giving us the list for these two. Don't worry, we will fix it when we put everything together. So let's look at the list. Let's go in here. So we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Exactly what we wanted. Good job. Okay. Awesome. Now let's go to the next one. It says daily, every day, but every 29 minutes. And maybe now you have an idea how to do that after you saw me. But let's do it. Let's go here. Custom column, put this here. So we see the table and then we're going to do if uh, time, uh, time, my dear, time is not null because that's the one that differentiates that line best. So if time is not null, depending on what you have on your table, you will have to change that, okay? Then list date times. I would love to have that parenthesis automatically like in DAX, please, if somebody from the Power Query team is watching. And now, same thing. First the date. Now we need to know how many intervals we want. So you have to do that calculation yourself. So it's every 30 minutes, how many hours in a day, how many days in a week and calculate it, right? So depending on what, how many days you want, it will be a different number. And then the duration, this is what is so cool with here, is zero days, is zero hours, but it is time two minutes. How cool is that? And then zero. So it's going to pick 29 for the 29 line, 60 for the 60 line, you'll see else blank and now here you see that is every 30 seconds 30 minutes ding, 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 ding. and this one is every hour so you are going to get more of something but then you can go and filter when you have all the dates you can say filter just for one week and then you're good to go. So don't worry too much if you create too many dates or too little dates. You can always filter those out later in Power Query, or you can do an if condition here, whatever rocks your boat. <laughs> Both work. Okay, now, next one. It says weekly every Monday. So we need to find the next Monday date. Next Monday date. So here's the thing, there is a function that is called date add days that works like this. It says date time as in and the number of days. So we pick this one and we say we want to have the next seven days. The next date plus seven days. So this date plus seven days. <laughs> My gosh. And this gives us the uh, do, 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 this is 11th of November 11th of November 18th of November is the next Monday. So you give us the next Monday. That's exactly what we want. So we go in here and now we're going to wrap that thing up. So we go do if frequency equals to weekly, then uh, list date, date time. And then we have um, the runtime is going to be the next date, which is this one. 
and then I just want to have the next week, so it's just the next Monday, and then it's duration one zero 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 else. Oh my gosh! Sometimes it tries to be way too smart. So here I have the 18th of November and here I have again the 18th of November because I only have if weekly. But now we need to fix this one because this is Monday and Tuesday the following week. So what we need to do is to grab um, to grab Let's see, we go custom column and we're going to do if frequency equal weekly, then list date times and then we have date adds and then we have our runtime seven and then we have here instead of one we have two days and then we have duration duration is one zero 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 and then i have to close that and else else null and then here it will give us two dates now we need to put this together, right? So let's do that. We go to add custom column. I have all the stuff in here so I can copy paste. I don't want to write that again. So this is going to be our dates. And we start with, here's the thing. If we start with this one first, this one will only populate that one. Okay. So if I say this one, then this, because these two have already filled, they will be ignored and they will only create that one. So we're going to start with, you know, it's like switch through in DAX. It just, if it's already been found, then it doesn't cover it anymore. So we take that one, then we take that one, the daily, and then we go to the weekly. And then we need to go through the weekly with month, Monday, Tuesday, first otherwise we will run into trouble and then we go weekly it says if it's not monday tuesday just fill it up with else no so now here we have it but we are missing the first one so we need to add that one right we need to go in here and say okay if otherwise just put next runtime but as you can see, you see that all of these have the expand thing. This one doesn't have it because you cannot expand list and records in the same place. So what we need to do here is to do actually a list the times and then the parentheses. And then you need to go here and say one, but duration so one day, but zero duration. So keep the day basically. And if we do that, it will create a list just with one day. And now suddenly, check this out. I have all the dates, all the times, all the stuff, so I can start to visualize when my jobs are getting executed. And is there any conflict? Should I move things around or? whatever you need to do, whatever your rocks, your boat, basically. So again, obviously this does not cover all the key scenarios that you have. It is impossible to do, but hopefully it gives you an idea of how to generate lists. So they actually do what you need. And uh, if you understand the function, you can tweak it to do it exactly whatever you need, hopefully. So. Hope this video was useful. Um, and uh, as always, I will see you again on the next Wednesday, probably.
<laughs> so until then, take care and bye bye.